Hey folks, Dayhiker from the Six here with another trailer walkthrough that we filmed earlier this month in Tampa, Florida. In this one, we're looking at the Little Guy Max trailer by Extreme Outdoors. It's a classic large teardrop floor plan with an east-west bed in the back, a dinette in the front, and the kitchen bathroom in between. We hope you enjoy the video, and if you do, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about lightweight travel trailers, no truck required. Now let's dive into this one. Hey folks, we are still at the Extreme Outdoors booth at the 2024 Florida RV Super Show, and we're looking at the Little Guy Max. So this would be their biggest unit uh, from Extreme Outdoors. And we're gonna start out here, we're just trying to work around the folks that are here at the show. And you've got a storage box, so you've got space for your one propane tank and for your battery. There is a lot of space in here that you can put other stuff, but unfortunately they don't have a bottom on this thing. So I'd probably be just trying to modify something underneath there so I could put a few other things in here because there is a lot of space. Seems like a very nice high quality unit. And uh, this trailer weighs 3,010 pounds as it is. So it's gonna be towable by, you know, maybe it's a little bit much for your Subaru Outbacks. Just on the outside range of our Toyota Venza, your 3,500 pound type of vehicles. Uh, if you had a Ford Maverick kind of thing, 4,000 pounds, or your SUVs like a Toyota Highlander with 5,000 pound tow capacity, this is gonna be a really neat option for you. So we're gonna come around. So you're gonna have Adzel on the side walls as similar to the other outdoor extreme trailer that we went through. We've got the same setup with the TV, the speakers, and all of your plugs right up at the front. This one actually has a Thule awning. It's fairly small, but it does cover the door and the window, and it's gonna give you a place to barbecue in the rain, which is great. And coming around, this is probably the thing that jumped out the most to us, and you've got an incredible amount of storage. And again, it's at the rear, which is great, so you're not gonna pile up your tongue too much uh, and, you know, get your vehicle squatting like crazy. Uh, this is a massive amount of outdoor storage though. It, it almost feels like a small class CRV. <laughs> so you've got your magnetic latches, which is nice as well. And coming around to the back, uh, we've got a backup camera on this particular unit. And we do have the 150 pound hitch as well. I see solar on the roof of this unit. And you've got that beautiful skylight type of window. I like that they have marker lights up above there too for when you're driving. Um, something that a lot of owners of our safari condo have said that they would like to have added. Um, so there are lots of different graphics packages on these trailers. So if you don't like this particular graphics package, there are other packages available. Okay, folks, we're gonna take a look at the inside of the Little Guy Max. And you can see even with my backpack on, I mean, lots of, this is a very spacious trailer. So I've got room even with the bathroom here and everything to move around. Um, I'm gonna just pop this off the... So, beautiful dinette. I would say it's a, it's a two person, you maybe squeeze three, you might be able to squeeze a third person onto this side. I've got some nifty little storage under here, which is cool. And you've got storage compartments on either side as well. And so now you also have storage up above. And you'll notice that the wood that they're using is actually solid maple guys. So they're not using uh, particle board. And uh, so th that's gonna have really help with the longevity of the camper for sure. Uh, same thing when we get into these drawers. Okay, so you've got your sponge holder. So we've got our standard galley for this type of trailer, a nice metal sink. It's quite deep with the cover. So you can use it for prep space uh, when you're not using it. And we've got the nice Dometic two burner stove as well. And of course, we've got the awning style window, so you'll be able to pass things out to underneath your awning if you set up a table out there. Oh, and that was just the sign. And uh, yeah, you know, you get any combination of blackout shade and screen that you want, so you can keep the bugs out. We've got a microwave up here. Again, this solid cabinetry, and you can see it's solid wood, even you can see right here where that <laughs> thing is, that it's wood. And uh, they're very, solid cabinets and deep um we've got a dometic fridge here so this is an absorption style fridge which i kind of prefer still we do a lot of boondocking and we're not we're usually in the shade so we want to keep the trailer cool so uh having propane fridge is actually a benefit in in my view uh if you've got solar if you've got enough batteries then a 12 volt is great but uh 
So we've got a very big bed here. You're gonna put your feet underneath this cabinetry here, uh, TV back here as well. And we've got, you know, for charging our devices, we've got speakers back here. So a nifty setup. So beside the galley here and beside the bed, you've got just tons of storage. And you've got a pull-out drawer. Nice big closet, you can hang clothes there. Very deep, lots of space. And we've got nice big drawer. It's very deep underneath the refrigerator. All right, well, let's check out this bathroom. So this is the six foot test and you can see I can stand up in this one. So this camper does have quite a bit more headroom than the, uh, the smaller little guy max that we went through and plenty of space to sit on the toilet, plenty of space to take a shower. Um, you know, a little bit of elbow room and you can see a little bit of elbow room down here. And we do have an exhaust fan as well, which is great. So this trailer really has everything that you would need. The only sort of downside that I could see, because we are a family of four, is that they don't offer a bunk on this unit. So this is a three person camper. But hey, if you don't need to sleep four people, you're getting a nice high quality workmanship on these cabinets. You're getting a good structure. It does have a wood floor, but other than that, you're getting a lot of waterproof composite type materials on the roof and the walls and uh, nice decor as well. And so it's a, it's a great setup. I think my advice for little guy Max though is guys, design a bunk for the front here so that a family of four could use this trailer. And I think you'd open up yourself to another market. Um, I quite enjoy this trailer though. We hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you in your trailer research. If you did like it, please hit like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. And we'll see you on the next one getting into the teardrop type of thing but this is a cool little trailer it's a 2024 little guy micro max show price is 26.99 uh, msrp 32 and you've got a nifty little dinette and you've got drawers underneath both of them all your plugs underneath the dinette which is great and looks like you've even got some cup holders in there uh, nice small little sink your dometic two burner stove which is awesome and you know, a nice bed back here space. Uh, it does have an air conditioner down at the bottom there. And got a nice little TV here as well. You've got speakers. And I can see that there's storage at the back there. And we've even got a little bit of storage underneath here. Um, all your mechanicals are under the benches, which is, I think, why we don't have anything going on there. We've got a very tiny little fridge. And, well, it beats a cooler, folks. <laughs> it is a very small fridge, though. But this is a very small camper. Got a little bit of storage here. So they've certainly done a nice job of just working storage in wherever they can. And that's some electrical stuff down there. Got a nice little cabinet. You can see the nice solid plywood there. Construction. Um, nice material on the seats, too. Nice little trailer. A little storage up there. You've got your exhaust fan. And right here at the door, you've got your um, control center. It's all your lights, gas, electric, water switches, the furnace. Uh, you've got a stereo. We've got our fuse panel here at the door. Easy to access. So, nifty little trailer. Oh, look at this. It's even got a microwave. And we've got solar on this guy, so we've got a solar charge controller as well. Um, everything that you'd need. So for two people, or actually even three people, because I'm sure this dinette converts into a bed. Uh, so you're getting a three people camp, three person camper. Um, I cannot stand up in it, but having said that, it's still, I can almost stand up in it, guys. So you're actually looking at, I'm, I'm uh, bending my knees right now, but I think this would definitely be the tent. The only thing that it's missing, of course, is a bathroom. But uh, hey, you can't always have it all, right? But it's a cool little trailer. I thought I'd show you guys just because of the neat layout.